President Biden, I want to give you some free advice. First, kudos for joining picket lines. You're the first sitting president to do that. But please don't stop there. Criticize the CEOs, now raking in nearly 350 times the pay of average workers who are often struggling to make ends meet. Blast corporations that are monopolizing industries and price gouging customers, and then using their record profits to pollute our democracy with massive political donations. You wouldn't be the first Democratic president to do this. On the eve of his 1936 re-election, President Franklin D. Roosevelt warned America that powerful business and financial monopolies had begun to consider the government of the United States as a mere appendage to their own affairs. And we know now that government by organized money is just as dangerous as government by organized mob. America is again in a populist age when a vast number of Americans have been shafted by big corporations, Wall Street, and a government corrupted by moneyed interests. But the biggest change over the last three decades, the change lurking behind the insecurities and resentments of working people, has nothing to do with wokeism, immigration, critical race theory, transgender kids, or any other Republican boogeyman. It has directly to do with a huge upward shift in the distribution of income and wealth over the past 30 years. The nation's economy has had massive gains, but the wealth of the bottom 50% of America hasn't budged, while the wealth of the richest Americans has exploded. This change didn't happen because of the so-called invisible hand of the free market. It happened because of policy decisions. Decisions like opening the American economy to imports from China, deregulating Wall Street, or deciding to dramatically cut taxes on the rich, let corporations bash unions, and bail out the biggest banks while working people are saddled with student debt and medical debt. These policy decisions didn't just happen either. They were pushed by the moneyed interests. Mr. President, to your credit, you and most Democratic lawmakers in Congress are pushing for policies that will make the nation more equitable, such as child care and elder care subsidies, infrastructure funding that will create good jobs, student loan forgiveness, and negotiated drug prices. Kudos. But you still haven't gone as far as blaming the CEOs, Wall Street moguls, and the super rich for what's happened to working people over the past few decades. You should condemn them, as did FDR, for profiting at the expense of the rest of America. You should attack corporate welfare, the special tax loopholes, bank bailouts, unconditional subsidies, loan guarantees, and no-bid contracts that have lined the pockets of the wealthy. Let Republicans criticize corporate wokeness. You should campaign against corporate greed. Let Republicans obsess about critical race theory, immigration, and sex. You should campaign against how obscenely unfair and unequal America has become. Mr. President, if you and other Democrats don't tell the economic truth about what's happened and place the blame squarely where it's deserved, the lies of Republicans will fill the void. Mm -hmm.